Devin. Now we're graduated, what do we do now? You know, I've been thinking about it, and I think maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna try, yeah, I'm gonna try modeling lab coats. And I guess it's true. Sucks to be you. No, Jade, I don't know about modeling. I mean, how about we do something fun like being tooth fairies or something? Uh, like, obviously, Devin, you have to like go to Hogwarts or something like that. Or to be a tooth fairy. Oh. I guess you're right, I never really like thought about it like that. So, I don't know, what else can we do with our diploma that's like fabulous? Well, Devin, I, I don't know what you're gonna do, but I think I've got this figured out. Like for real this time. I think what I really want to be is a dental wrapper. Getting heavy, my occlusion's looking right. It's a 3 6. Spoon wax on the die, get the whip mix. Get the whip mix, get the whip mix. Spoon wax on the die, get the whip mix. Get the whip mix, get the whip mix. Spoon wax on the die, get the whip mix. Give me that so it makes me real. Let's go and wire, vibe and really, really more. Get the get, get those weathers off and dry and let over those margins. Now scoop them up and best because it's getting too hot. Cast it, heat, 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 heat it up. The crucible is ready. I'll be casting up those crowns. I'll be casting up those crowns. I'll be casting up those crowns. Crucible is ready. I'll be casting up those crowns. Black star die. Getting ready. When we wax, we carve it nice. Getting heavy. My occlusion's looking right. It's the 3 6. Spoon wax on the die. Get the wet mix. Get the wet mix. Get the wet mix. Spoon wax on the die. Get the wet mix. Get the wet mix. Get the wet mix. Although the dental world offers many different career paths that could apply to an RDT, adapting and working with new technologies is both interesting and unavoidable for our futures. The use of implant-associated prosthetics have become a target for researchers and medical suppliers worldwide. Per Ingevar Brandmark published 10 years of research in 1977, finding that bone was able to go directly onto titanium implants called osteointegration. The picture shown is of a case that has just started to osteointegrate after 28 days. With this scientific breakthrough, the medical world was able to propel forward providing better restorative care for patients. Implants have enormous advantages over other types of restorations. Since it imitates natural dentition, aesthetics, bone health, and function are easily achieved. With current innovation, there are hundreds of diverse designs of implants for different case specifications. All implants are surgically placed once a bone has been assessed for quality, density, and amount. 
After the implant structure has been placed, a healing cap is placed on the implant and left alone to heal, typically from three to six months. When the implant is ready to be loaded, the healing cap is removed and the implant is ready to receive the restoration. Single unit implants have two main components that an RDT will have to fabricate, an implant abutment and the crown that goes on top of that abutment. Implant components that fit into one another are left untouched and are created from the manufacturer. The vast majority of implant cases are completely customized to each patient. Single unit cases can be cement retained or screw retained. The crown is veneered on a coping that is primarily made of alumina, zirconia, titanium, base metal, lithium disilicate, or other materials. Technologists are required to make restorations look aesthetic and return function with excursions. For implant dentures, the technologist is required to decide what type of design would be best for the patient. Again, there are hundreds of different types of designs for implant dentures. In some cases, an implant bar is used. If so, then the technologist would most likely design the bar around the implant sites and have the bar milled for precision. In other cases, over dentures without a bar are used and retained by balls or retentive caps. The technologist would then design and create the denture, including the implant components. In conclusion, implants have come a very long way from Brandmark's original discovery and will continue to evolve into more effective and natural restorations.